How would you like to be able to aim your tennis shots exactly where you want them to go and hit your target again and again? Well, that's what this video is going to show you exactly how to do. And we're going to start off with a little science experiment here. You'll see a video of me hitting some shots from the forehand side. And to begin with, I'm hitting all of my shots straight ahead down the alley. I'm having the ball machine feed right into my forehand corner, and I'm just over and over again trying to hit the alley, which is a fantastic target, by the way. Then I'm hitting everything cross court into the other alley. Double sideline to double sideline is 36 feet. So a ball that hits the middle of the first alley and the ball that hits the middle of the second alley is over 30 feet away. It's a big spread in between those two. The alley is four and a half feet wide, by the way, which sounds like a big target. But if you try to do this, you'll find that hitting the alley again and again is actually quite hard. And you're about to find out why. When you compare the shot that I hit down the first alley to the shot that I hit cross court to the opposite alley, you'll see a couple of things that might surprise you. A lot of people assume that aiming your forehand either down the line or cross court is a matter of maybe how you set up with your body, like how far your, your shoulders turn and, and where your body is facing. Or a lot of times I'll hear people say, oh, it's just about the stance. Like if you want to hit down the line, then you need to turn your stance and be more of a closed stance. And cross court is more about uh, being open and, and hitting with an open stance. Or people will say, oh, you got to step, you know, you got to step in the direction that you want to hit the ball. Well, when you see side by side, the down the line forehand and the cross court forehand, and you look at my, my setup and my unit turn and my stance, it's all gonna be pretty close to identical. I actually haven't seen them side by side yet, but I did peek a little bit before uh, shooting this, and I, I know they're very, very close to the same. So, what is it then? Well, I want you to remember this phrase. This phrase is unbelievably, it's pivotal, it's critical for your understanding and your improvement as a tennis player. The face sends it, meaning the racket face or the strings, the path bends it. The face sends it, the path bends it. I heard that phrase from a golf coach years ago and it's, it's huge, it's massive. What that means is at the moment, split second, the ball's only on the strings for a couple thousandths of a second. In that split second, wherever your strings are facing, the racket will send the ball in that direction. So wherever you're, it doesn't matter, like your setup, your stance, what direction you're stepping. If you're stepping in this direction and your stance is in that direction and your setup is in that direction, but your strings are facing that way, the ball will go that way. All the other stuff is irrelevant. It's really all about the racket face. And the path of the racket, that's what makes the ball bend or curve. That's, that means spin. So a uh, path going upwards makes the ball spin down. Path going sideways makes the ball spin sideways. But in terms of accuracy and placing the ball exactly where you want it to go, it all comes down to the racket face at contact. So when we go forwards in my swing, and both of them, and you look at them side by side, and we freeze it right at the moment of contact, you'll see very clearly from that same angle from the side, the one that went down the alley, my strings at, at the moment of contact are facing right down the alley. And the other one, where I hit the opposite alley, cross court, my strings are a little bit further in front. That little bit different angle, I, I need to figure out what the difference is, it's probably like 12 or 15 degrees difference in angle, makes the ball go more than 30 feet away. Which is crazy, because if you take the down the line forehand and you go forwards one frame at a time until my racket matches the cross court forehand, it's, I haven't peeked ahead on this particular example yet, but it's usually about two or three frames and we're shooting at 120 frames per second. So that means a 60th of a second is the timing difference between having your strings aim down the line, directly straight ahead down the alley, and all the way over in the opposite side of the court, cross court in the other alley, over 30 feet away, a 60th of a second. So if you wanna land a ball exactly in the backhand corner of your opponent, as an example, it's, it's, not, it's not about where you step, it's not about your stance, it's not about your setup, it's about the timing of when you start swinging forwards and how that relates to when the strings touch the ball. And wherever the strings are facing, when the strings touch the ball, the ball is going to go there. So you can use that knowledge to kind of backtrack and reverse engineer. If you're trying to hit down the line and everything is going to the middle of the court, 
then you know you need to wait a little longer because you're too far in front. Your strings are angled too far towards the middle and they need to be facing more down the line. Or if you're trying to hit cross court and everything is going down the line, you've got to initiate your forward swing earlier so that the racket's further in front, there's more angle on the strings, and that angle on the strings makes the ball go cross court. This is how aiming works in tennis on ground strokes. It's all about the timing of when you swing and the correlating angle of the strings at contact. And as you can see from this example, it's fractions of a second difference between hitting one corner and all the way over in the opposite corner. And this is why tennis is hard. And it takes a lot of training and repetition to really nail in your timing to hit one corner or the other corner. But hopefully this was illuminating to you Hopefully the example clarified things. Remember, the face sends it, the path bends it. Super, super huge. If this is helpful, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you'd like complete game guidance, on how to improve every part of your game in videos just like this one, make sure to go to EssentialTennisAcademy.com and pick up free access right away. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next lesson.